Please, this is too messy to work with. Let's clean it all up. Off the set. Fuck Labo. Shit, this looks like a lot. Imagine actually getting all this. There's just so much of my life history in these stacks of games. Like the Switch first came out in 2017, March of 2017. And I didn't get my Switch until June of 2017, just on an off chance that a Best Buy had one left, the color one. And I traded in a bunch of my old belongings and stuff just to get it. And my first game was ARMS. This was my first and only Switch game for the longest time. Um, my second Switch game ever was Splatoon 2. <laughs> He said that I was like, oh god, now I gotta pause and find the game. <laughs> oh, hey. There it is. Thank you. My second ever Switch game was Splatoon 2. I went from having one game in June to two games in July, and then having my third ever Nintendo Switch game, Super Bomberman R, and then you guys could just probably predict the rest. 1-2 Switch was amazing to play with friends and just carried the life cycle out all the way around, and then game after game kept releasing, but the game that I had the most fondest memories with growing up, Super Mario Odyssey. And then that's when I knew I got to get all the Nintendo Switch games. I fell in love with the system. These were my beginning set. And then I, who knew just having these like five games would determine like how the rest of my collection was going to go. So this stack right here are what I like to call the common games. These are the games that I find myself playing often or wanting to play more than I do of the other ones. They're either the multiplayer ones I like to play with friends online, or I just straight up enjoy playing. They're not in any particular order, but we'll just start from the top. Nintendo Switch Sports. God, I love this game. It, it, it didn't live up to exactly how Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort was on the Wii, but I still had like a lot of good memories with Dearso and Mega Man and a couple of my friends online playing Switch Sports. This is definitely a game that I take to any event where I'm taking my Switch to because it's just fun to play with all around and make friends. I don't understand why they dropped the me concept for these like weird civilian like people, but fuck, I love the I love Switch Sports. And one day I'd like to get like a yearly uh, Switch Sports Olympics things going with the boys and have like a competition with them. Like you could always find a good time with sports games on the Switch. Then is Ring Fit Adventure. I don't play Ring Fit Adventure as much as I want to, but I, I keep it on the top with my Ring Con if I'm ever feeling like motivated when I can't get to a gym or what I'd like to start with is uh, just do at home workouts. Don't let this game deceive you. It will hurt your body. People have actually said they've gotten legit workouts. People have actually lost weight with this game. There's like reviews about it all over. Like I didn't even beat the first world of the story mode because I thought, oh, I'm fit. I could beat it, start working on the hardest difficulty. Dude, the fact that you have to do like 30 sit-ups and all these things just to beat one enemy is just like freaking insane but it just one of those games that like haunts me being like i know i need to beat it one day i know i should go back to it so i keep it on top with the others super smash brothers ultimate this is everyone is here everybody loves playing this game it is one of my favorite nintendo switch games on the system it was actually the first launch i ever went to in new york where i got to meet cisco key and sky for the first time it was a crazy event just being there to get the game at midnight my main pac-man had so much fun just battling with viewers going through the story mode having a good time super smash brothers ultimate is the 
number one game I could recommend for the Nintendo Switch. Now I could honestly talk about all these, but I'll just fly through them, do a little bit. WarioWare Smooth Moves, fun party game. If you if you don't want to play sports or smash your opponents, fun, silly, wacky game to play with friends. Super Mario Party. Mario Party, but on Switch, the first one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's fine, the DLC's finally over. We can race. <laughs> Pac-Man World Repack. I'm the Pac-Man guy, of course it's in with the comments. I will play this shit every fucking day. Splatoon 3, it's Splatoon. Splat Attack, the Splat Fest. Fun multiplayer game, fun to play with viewers. Always coming back. Mario Party Superstars, the better Mario Party, even though the boards are starting to get stale, but I love both of them. Super Mario Maker 2, makes me want to bring a hammer to my head. Big Brain Academy. I had a good thing going for that short time I played this. <laughs> Super Mario Wonder, waited at New York for this game. Didn't beat it, but what from what I have played, amazing game, beautiful, and I can't wait to go back to it and play even more of it. Super Mario RPG, the best RPG game I've ever played and recommend to everyone. Gino is back. Pikmin 4, Dan Dory time, baby. Dan Dory this dick. Go vacation. You wanted Wii Sports Resort and couldn't get it? No, go vacation's this, but better. Imagine Wii Sports Resort, but open world, could do have way more sports, can do a lot more, and still play as your Miis. Go Vacation is an extremely underrated title for the Nintendo Switch, and up to four players. Mario Tennis Aces, the infi basically the Marvel Infinity Saga, but in tennis form. Luigi's Mansion 3. Fuck, Gooigi. Oh, Gooigi. Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Violet. Always going back to competitive, always hunting down shinies, always battling and collecting Pokemon, and still trying to complete the Pokedex to this day. And Animal Crossing, my most played Nintendo Switch game. My mom fucking love, has more hours in this game than I do. I spent so much time in quarantine playing this game. I almost failed a semester of college to play this game. I've devoted so much of my life to this and my island, and I love everything about it. Now, these were all the commons. Now let's get to the meat of the collection. So, the next game is Starlink Battle for Atlas. It showed so much promise. It was the close. Honestly, if Star Fox went into this route, I would still play it, still enjoy it to this day. I think Starlink Battle for Atlas got way too much hate than it deserves. I had a lot of time playing it. I still recommend this game to anyone who wants it. Yes, some of the missions got repetitive. Yes, it was annoying that outlaws would just randomly interrupt all your missions and just space travel, but I still love the gameplay. It reminded me of the the simpler times when Toys to Life was still fresh, and I love that they tried their best to just collab. Like, the Star Fox world just fits so fucking perfectly into this, like... It's just a shame to not see more Star Fox stuff on the Nintendo Switch than just Starling. Next are my boxed games. I have a lot of different box games. Um, the Ministry of Bod Broadcast. I wish I could tell you what this was about. It looks honestly really interesting. A country divided by the wall. To cross it and reach your family, you must compete and win in a reality TV show. I got this game off of uh, Gamefly because Gamefly sells games and it was like relatively cheap the one day they were doing a sale. So I just picked it up because I never saw it before and it looked interesting and it's still in the box, never played. I actually didn't get Breath of the Wild until one year after it came out. I had no interest in The Legend of Zelda. I wasn't a fan of The Legend of Zelda for a long time. I'm still on the fence about how I feel about the series as a whole, but Walmart had a deal where, where it came in this Explorer's Edition bundle with an Explorer's Guide and Map for 40 bucks, and I ended up getting it like during a Black Friday sale one year later after its initial release, and that's why it's boxed like this classic edition RPG adventures. I don't know why they come in a box like this, but you get like a bunch of cool extra collectibles, like posters, uh, soundtracks, 
but inside is just the regular game case like the, the rest but it's cool that the they're trying to bring back these japanese rpgs that were on like game boy and snes and putting them on the switch in the east like the west for more people to enjoy trinity trigger love this uh it's another box rpg i got it at best buy the one day um it was on sale for 25 dollars, so i just picked it up i don't have any emotional connection to this game but i was like hey i don't have in the collection just bought it and added it and then sonic origin plus another funny story i just waited for it to go on sale because a lot of third party games go on sale instead of just waiting for first party titles to release this was the last copy target had after this previous black friday this game sold like hotcakes because of the sale that they gave me the display version um i got it on a whim too i was just at target with friends and they were just buying things and i'm like oh i want to buy something and this was just the perfect opportunity to get it and that's this history and story with these box games now the fly through the games in alphabetical order advance wars reboot camp get it bring back advance wars it's a miracle that it's back adventure academia cool find at gamestop i guess and picked it up alex kid support sega support other franchises astral chains underrated rpg by platinum games get it and bring it make sure they bup, 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 bup. what about now it's time to rock with the big the back bumble Balan under the game shit. Why? Why am I even talking about it? Bayonetta spinoff? Don't know how to say the rest. <laughs> Bendy and the Ink Machine. I am alive. Bioshock. Some dating simulator. Braverly Default. Bubble Bobble and Friends. Didn't open. I never. It. They. I don't. Walmart was just selling this for a brief amount of time. Even GameStop didn't have this in their systems. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Didn't get it on the Wii, the Wii U, so I got it on the Switch with the Odyssey DLC. Catherine Full Body. Crash Bandicoot. This game makes me want to jump off a cliff. Crisis Tale. Damon X Machina. Detective Pikachu Returns. I waited for this game and never even opened it. Digimon Survive. Dicega 1 out of seven dragon quest treasures dragon ball xenoverse 2 for the nintendo switch i wish i played this more but i just couldn't stand the lobby music and how much text there was everybody won to switch i got this during the n10 movie trip actually and we thought we were all gonna play it but we didn't have time because we were worked like slaves for the movie fitness boxing 2 fire emblem three houses fire emblem warriors and that's it for my fire emblem collection i know there's a lot more but i just don't care about fire has been heroes actually this is the game that gamestop uses on their display where it's all torn up and like discombobulated and being like we could still cover that harvest moon light of hope i don't remember buying a harvest moon game actually but i have it harvest stella got going to uh pax east it was on sale at one of the game stops and i was like yeah i'll buy it hyrule warriors age of calamity immortal phoenix rising indivisible it takes two kamizawa way of the thief cow the kangaroo love my 3d platformers i'm glad it's back k's kirby in the forgotten land kirby's return to dreamland kirby star allies and an underrated rpg live alive i can't wait to get my like sink my teeth into this mario golf very disappointing Mega Man 11. Afraid to try because Mega Man games are hard. Metroid Dread. Still not open. Metroid Prime. Remastered. Mario Strikers. The game's broken. Miraculous Ladybug. Had high expectations for this game but ended up being shit. Monster Crown. Monster Hunters 2. Stories 2. I don't know why I got it. I was never a Monster Hunters fan. My Hero Academia Wins Justice. I've actually played this game a lot online with friends on the Nintendo Switch and built a small community. I miss those people that I played the game with and I hope they're all doing well. Neo, the world ends with you with not the new Pokemon Snap. The shitty ass Labo collection. Nino Kuni, No Straight Roads. Octopath Traveler, one of my first RPGs for the Nintendo Switch and I just loved playing it. The bosses were so cool, and I hope they make a Pokemon game like this. Omori. Put this with the comments. Owlboy! 
Paper Mario and the Origami King. I thought this game was gonna entertain me through quarantine, but I didn't even make it past the first world. Persona 5R. I'm afraid to play this game any further. This is like a 70 hour game. Pikmin 1 plus 2. And Pikmin 3. <laughs> Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I couldn't get back. This was the worst remake, the worst Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. I'm fucking very disappointed. One. Pokemon Legends Arceus, the best Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. Midnight launch at GameStop I worked in, it was just a magical moment. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, another magical moment for me on the Nintendo Switch. One of the best looking Pokemon games, and I wish they made more in that franchise. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe, wish I played more of it. Pokemon Shield, unopened. Poi, 3D platformer. Poyo Poyo Tetris, 2. I played the demo, had fun, but I don't like Tetris, so fuck this game. Rayman Legends. Ubisoft really fumbled the bag. I wish Rayman was in Smash and he ha he deserved better. Resident Evil or hardest fuck games. Couldn't even make it past the first five minutes. I wasted all my gun ammo and couldn't even like complete the first mission. Sakuna Rice and Ruin. Never played, but it looked interesting. Samba Diego, it's just basically just dance, but with cool characters instead. Scribblenauts Showdown, disappointing, but I've had my fun with it. It's not like the other Scribblenauts. Shantae Have Genie Hero, love Shantae. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, I beat the game on the 3DS. I just got this game to play as the other knights, but I have to get through the main story first, I think. Skullgirls, we should do Skullgirls content. Snack World. The last game that Level 5 released on the Switch before their latest Direct last year, and none of their games are yet to be seen on the system. Sonic Forces. The best Sonic game. Sonic Mania. Sonic Superstars. Splatoon 2. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. This game is gonna pay for my wedding one day. Super Mario 3D World. Plus Bowser's Fury. Super Monkey Ball. Super Bomberman 1 and 2, baby! Let's go! And Sushi Strikers, The Way of the Ninja. Tales of Vesperia. I remember begging for this game when I was working at Burger King one day, I got it, and I thought the story was really interesting. It looked like a storybook, but I don't know why I didn't complete it. I know the one pirate guy has like a casino ultimate attack, and I thought that was just a really flashy cool move, but I never got to it. And it's up to four players somehow. Sonic Team Racing. Them's fighting herds. Horse Smash Brothers. I saw the DLC character Texas and I thought he was so fucking badass that it made me go out and get the game. The Binding of Isaac, hard as fuck. I fucking hate when you die, you have to start all over from square one. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Link's Awakening. Actually, I went to the launch of this and just didn't play it. Skyward Sword HD. Tears of the Kingdom. The Outbound Ghost. It's bringing back the Paper Mario universe. The Outer Worlds. Triangle strategy. Bazooka! Smash Brothers, but with bazookas and yo-yos. Ultimate Mega Party Remix. I had a lot of fun playing this with my girlfriend. It was, it's just another fun party game to play with friends. WarioWare, get it together. Wander Song. World's Ends Club, still in box. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I know you guys have been asking me to play Xenoblade for a long time, and we'll get to it eventually. Xenoblade 2. I actually played a quarter of the game. And I enjoyed it, but just too long. Yoshi's Crafted World. And last but not least, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. <laughs> no, no! God damn it, I fumbled the fucking bag! So, if you thought my physical game collection was huge, just wait till you get a taste of my digital Switch game collection. So, the lot of it is bloated. Because you know when you put in a physical game cartridge, it shows up, like, in the digital menu. So you'll see some missing physical ones from there since I didn't put all my games in my system. But I have a lot of games downloaded. So, let's get going. 911 Operator. A Hat in Time. A Short Height. Fail Fury. Air. Blaster Master Zero. Agent A. Blue Kid 2 for some reason. Blossom Tales. Blue Fire. Boomerang Foo. Demo of Box Boy plus Box Girl. Brawl Out! Capcom, I know, shocking how many games I have. Capcom Arcade Stadium. Candleman. Candace of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Featuring 
The Legend of Zelda, Bug Fables, Bubsy Paws on Fire, Brothers, 51 Clubhouse Games, Conduct Together, Conga Master, Corpse Party, Crisis Tale Demo, Delta Ruin Chapters 1 Plus 2, Defunct, Death Square, Demombo, Radish, Doki Doki Literature Club, Don't Starve Switch Edition, Doom, Drawful 2, Drawn to Life, Two Realm, Famicom Detective Club, The Girl who stands behind Fall Guys, F099, Eyes, a horror game, Edgo. Fun fact, every time you beat the game, they play a tree. Famicom Detective Co Club, The Missing Air, Fast RMX Racing, Faye, Final Fantasy, 7 and 8, Five Nights at Freddy's Sisters Location, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, Five Days, Fitness Boxing 2, Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and The Blade of Light. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator, Freedom Planet, Fury, Game Builder Garage, Hades, Gunman Clive HD Collection, Going Under, Goblin Sword, Gyoko Love 100 Days, Hentai vs. Evil, <clears throat> Hiroki, Hob, Hugh, Human Fall Flat, Journey of the Broken Circle, Super Burger Time, Jenny Lee Clue, It Takes Two, Inkenfell, Ice Cream Surfer, Jump Rope Challenge, Just Dance 2022, Hamiko, Katamari Damacy Reroll, Kawaii Slime Arena, Keep Talking and Nobody Explode, Kirby's Dream Buffet, Kirby Fighters Demo, Demo for Forgotten Land, Plona Fantasy Revere Series, Knockout City, Kokokuro Days, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, Legend Legacy, Lee Grand Rever, Light Space, Macback 64, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, Mom Hit My Game, Minecraft Dungeon, Minecraft, Miles and Kylo, Miitopia Demo, Monopoly for the Nintendo Switch, Monster Hunter Rise Demo, Monster Sanctuary, Moon Rider, Mutant Muds, Night in the Woods, Nexomon Extinction, Neurovoider, Neko Nico, My Time at Porsche, Ninjala, Ninjala Exclusive Club, Nin Nin Days, Ocean Horn, Nuts, Okami HD, Old Man's Journey, Oli Oli, Oninaki, Overcooked, Special Edition, Pan Pan, Pac-Man Museum, Oxen Free, Overwatch 2, Panda Punch, fuck I bought that on the Xbox as well, god damn it, Panty Party, Paratropic, Part Time UFO, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Unite, Holly Roll, Rad, Triangle Strategy, Demo, Prison Princess, Red Colony, Retro City Rampage, Robonauts, Rocket Fist, Scribble Knots, Showdown, Sakura Succubus, Sakura Santa, Roki, Rogue Heroes, Rocket League, Sinran Kagura for legal and research purposes. Shovel Knight, the Joy-Cons are supposed to feel like boobs in that game. Shovel Knight, Sky Children of Light, Slime Son, Snake Pass, Spirit Frogger, Spelunker Party, I had a lot of good memories with that. Snipper Clips, Stardew Valley, State of Mind, Steam World Dig 2, Dunk Kite Party, Super Co Kiwi 64, Super Bomberman R Online, Super Blackjack Battle 2 Turbo The Card Warriors, Summer and Mara, Su Suica Game, Super Mario Bros. 3. Sushi Striker Demo, Super Punch Patrol, Siberia 1 and 2, Telling Lies, Terraria, Tetris 99, The Last Campfire, Jackbox Party Pack 9, Jackbox Party Pack 3, Jackbox Party Pack 2, The Escape is 2, The Binding of Isaac, The Story Goes On, Free Game, The Stretchers, The Way Remastered, Thief Simulator, Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, Trouble Days, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, Tori 3D, Tiny Metal, Ultimate Custom Night, Unbox, Newbies Adventure, Undertale, Uno Twice, I don't know how I bought they, the game let me buy Uno Twice, why the fuck do I have Uno Twice on here? Unravel 2, Untitled Goose Game, Use Your Words, War Groove, The Power Pros, WBCSE Baseball, Woven, Moodle Tree Adventures Deluxe, Wonder Boy, Wizards Legends, Windbound, Wide Ocean Big Jacket, Zeo Drifter, Yoga Master, Yoku's Island Express, Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles, Ukulele, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, and YouTube. And guys, that was the entirety of my Nintendo Switch collection. Holy shit. 
going through it all. This is impressive. I was holding back from making this video for a long time because I just didn't think that my Nintendo Switch collection held up compared to other Nintendo YouTubers I watch. And who knows, this collection is still small compared to many, but I'm happy with all the games I had. Even going through all the games I had downloaded. I have games downloaded twice somehow, games that I, I bought on other consoles that I forgot I own, and just games I don't remember buying, which is just incredible. And I don't even know what where to even begin when it comes to making content and where my stream looking at all this. I just like knowing that I have the games, that if I'm just feeling playing something, I could just go and look at my collection pull it off the shelf and put it in or boot it up and I love that about my collection. One day I would like to have like a room that kind of looks like you're walking into a GameStop and if anyone just wants to play a game like just a trip down memory lane like just having like a gaming room memoir to like what gaming history was like and I'm glad that I started all of this with the Nintendo Switch. It was fairly easy to stay on top of the ball even though I'm still missing like 30 titles, believe it or not, but it was a journey collecting every single, each and every one of these games, and the journey's still going on, who knows, maybe next year at this time my collection will have doubled or tripled, who knows, but this is from the 2017 to 2024, and I'm not stopping collecting games anytime soon, uh, let me know what you guys favorite game in my collection was and what you guys thought of the video and stay bright let's fam what am i gonna do with all this bullshit?